Good morning. It's 4 a.m. on Friday, May 19th. Here are today's top stories. As the latest Fast and Furious movie roars into theaters today, police warn the public about copycats, saying our streets are not safe for stunts and Hollywood wannabes. Parents of a local school are calling for action after over a homeless encampment located near campus. Why they say its presence is creating a dangerous situation for school kids. And he can't drive or grow a beard, but this young man is about to graduate college with five degrees. We're going to introduce you to the local prodigy. The early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starts now. Hey there, good morning. I'm Eric Spillman and for Chris Shaw. What a move that was. Huh? The e-ticket ride. Fancy. <laughs> the fanciest. The fanciest. I'm making it fancy. Glad you're Fun. with us. Uh, Chris off today. We'll check in with Ginger coming up shortly. Bye, Henry. It's uh, weekend. Yeah. Friday. It is Friday. We made it. Well, yesterday was an interesting day weather-wise. For mm. some, it started out really chilly. In it areas was. It was drizzled on me, actually. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's like, oh, my goodness, please, sun, come <laughs> out. It did. We got a little warmer through the like inland valleys. Late in stuff. the day over yeah. by the coast. It was really kind of a crazy day, and we've seen a lot of this, I think, over the past uh, six months where the weather has just been kind of tipped upside down as far as what we could expect. But we do know this, chance of thunderstorms through the weekend. We'll see that over the mountain and deserts. Good morning on a Friday. As Eric mentioned, the weekend is upon us, and there are so many things going on this weekend, too, yeah. throughout Southern California. So at least we do not have rain unless you're up in those mountain and desert communities where we could see a chance of some thunderstorms building. You know, there was some light drift yesterday in some spots with that marine layer, but overall we're looking at 60 degrees currently along the coast, a high of 67, which is a little bit warmer. I do anticipate a little bit of a warm up and an earlier start to sunshine Saturday and Sunday for our coastal areas, but we still have those clouds and a chance of thunderstorms. So we'll uh, keep that in there. It looked like some of those clouds wanted to build into a thunderstorm over the oh, yeah. yesterday. We didn't see too much of that, thank goodness. Windy in the high desert, uh, gusts up to 40. So we'll uh, t check and see if there's any wind advisories in place for you this weekend. But in the meantime, Ginger, let's send it over to you on a Friday morning. Yeah, my walk, I had to have gotten, it's like, I need another jacket. But then in the run in the afternoon, it was like, shedding this jacket is just too hot for that. Hey, good morning to you guys. Good morning, everybody. For us, this weather is actually really nice for all the Caltrans work that we have going on. So let's take you first so you can see the construction project here. Okay, so this will shift over the weekend because it's supposed to go until 5 o'clock on the weekdays, come tonight into tomorrow and the entire weekend. It wraps up at 8. 5 freeway heading southbound side between the 138 Templin Highway. Lanes are closed due to a landslide. You know, I felt like the cloud cover was a little bit thicker this morning in some spots. I couldn't see the tops of some of the downtown buildings, but the camera shows us here that as we look to the south, we see a little bit more as we move you farther to the south and in towards areas of, say, South L.A. I think the visibility is improved. We'll see. I'll send it back to you guys. Thank you, Ginger. The release of the latest Fast and Furious movie is raising concerns the film may influence unsafe and reckless driving in Los Angeles. KTLA's Carlos Herrera is live in the Angelino Heights neighborhood of Los Angeles with the warning from authorities. Good morning, Carlos. Hey, good morning, Eric and Megan. Pretty cool that we have such a famous house so close to us. This is the house that will be seen in Fast 10, which is now in theaters. But in addition to this house, in this neighborhood, you also see a lot of tire burnout marks from illegal street stunts. And that's exactly what law enforcement and people who live in this neighborhood are warning against. 